first time actually the telegram starts talking. A very good evening to our viewers. Welcome to the 1873 TV, your vision, your power, your vision on issues that matter, your power to inspire new thinking, new outcomes, and new possibilities. My name is Tinashe Mpasiri. This evening on the 1873 TV, we bring you uh, the Mentees Circles, an initiative of the 1873 Network. And joining me uh, this evening uh, in our studios, where we're broadcasting live from Rivonia in Johannesburg, is Mr. Mutuma Mawere. Very good evening, Mr. Mawere. Good evening, Tinashe. Good, good evening, the team. I'm also joining <laughs> Also joined by Kenny Wesindani. <coughs> Kenny, a very good evening to you. Good evening, Tanasha Ling Ling. With me are three gentlemen who are known as a True Verb. Uh, from my right, Oscar Tendere. A very good evening to you, Oscar. Evening, Tanasha. Uh, to my left, uh, Desire Jimbuzi. Yeah. And uh, Simba Kabara. Gentlemen, a very good evening and welcome to the 1873 TV. And uh, not forgetting our special guest who happens to be uh, on Skype, uh, that is uh, Manfred. Manfred, a very good evening and welcome to the 1873 TV. Is it Manfred or Alfonso? Oh, no, no, it's actually Alfonso Panganayo. Uh, very good evening, Alfonso. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yes, how's Dubai this evening? Mm. Uh, Dubai is fantastic. Uh, the temperature uh, just a bit old, but we are okay. I'm glad that you could actually join us this evening on the 1873 TV as we uh, broaden the conversation on mentorship, uh, especially when it comes to as individuals. We often look for mentors to mentor us, but do we have a shared understanding mm -hmm. what it means to be a mentee and what it also entails to have a mentor in your midst? I like what Kimball said today, actually. Mm. When I stepped into his show, he said, ah, we should do away with the word mentee. How about we say mentor and mentored? I don't know what your view is, but that for me stood out. And I think one thing that also kind of you know, sparked in my head when we spoke, Mr. M, you mentioned something that you can be a person and you can talk about institution building, you can talk about policies. And if you are a mover and shaker, what are you moving? What are you shaking? Number one. Number two, do you have a policy? Do you have a car? And if you do, what kind of policy do you have? So that's pretty much the gist of the conversation that we'll be talking about today. Yeah, on the on the on this particular initiator. Mentee cycle, very catchy. I like No, they say a mentee is the one who is mentored. Mm -hmm. So that's the same term mm -hmm. that you are referring to. But see, sometimes we talk without understanding uh, what we are talking about. So the word mentee assumes there are two parties. There is one who may have or seemingly have superior knowledge on something, not on everything. Contacts themselves can be a sense why people associate. Ideas can be a sense of why people associate. So people always want to go to the higher ground. Whether you are looking for water in a desert, the camels will always gravitate towards water. Where they believe they can get something of value. From them. So, when we look at uh, organization, which is what we are saying to Mr. Panganai, uh, how best can you organize yourself? He is in the United Arab Emirates. Itself is a United uh, Emirates of Arab people. So it's a unity. There is Dubai, there is also Abu Dhabi. And the two of them, the capital city is Abu Dhabi, there is also a ruler of what? Of uh, 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 Dubai. 
And uh, Mr. Pangana, you can confirm that uh, UAE is a network of Emirates. Is that correct? I think his this line is frozen. His line is he seems to be frozen. Mm. <laughs> but South Africa is also a united republic. It's one republic. They are there were different states. Mm -hmm. There were Pandustan, there was South Africa. They divided the country into areas where certain people could live. There was Group Areas Act. The effect of the change of government in South Africa was to create a united country. Yes. Yes. So when we talk of mentorship, we are saying when you want to learn, even in class, you have to organize yourselves. So each class may have 40 students or 100 students with one teacher. So all the people who want to learn, the best thing is that outside classrooms, people want one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard somebody saying, I'm waiting to see the president, I'm waiting to see Mawere. Mm -hmm. But imagine you had to split that person, one, 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 and you have 365 days, and you used each day to meet a person. What remains in the year? It means your year is gone. You know, there's, some, you know, there's something that stands out, or that stood out rather to me, especially on the breakfast show when Tinasha Trubert as well as Wildfire were talking. And they were talking about the design of life. And um, a question that was asked is, if reason is a gift of nature, why do you think is the reason people generally want to be led? Because if reasoning and free will is a gift of nature, you already have it as a person, as a human being, you already possess it. But now the problem lies when a person wants to be led, but already you have the power to lead your own life and to pull your own work and, and to work on your own dash. So what do you have to say to a mentee that is saying, no, I want to be led? But we all, we grow up from zero, led by parents, by society, by... So at the end of the day, some people may not even know when to leave their parents' home. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and if they could get away with uh, living in their parents' home, they would do so without paying rent. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so when they leave this uh, situation of protection, they expect to find new parents outside the national parent. The only parents you can abuse without paying back are the people who give birth to you and the people you share names with. And you say, we are a family. We are tenderers. But outside that, you are on your own. So we want to be independent. But most of the people who are educated are the most selfish people. Because they think they've earned it. How many have you seen say, I've learned all there is to learn? Mm -hmm. They become arrogant, Ish. egotistic, mm -hmm. self-centered, irrational, mm -hmm. and uh, they only need somebody when they lose a job. Mm. While they are at a job, they actually don't want to prepare anything for anybody. Mm. So they use even company assets to show off. This boils down to collaborative thinking. They get business cards that they never use for anybody else. <laughs> they celebrate birthday without telling anybody that they're celebrating birthday because they don't want to share. Yeah, sure. They have 52 weeks in a year. Mm -hmm. And you ask, how did you use your 52 weeks? Even you say, bring and share. Let's just meet. Because in that meeting, you may be able to find somebody. Mm -hmm. But what they think is mentorship, most people, is going to a classroom where somebody tells you, maybe John Maxwell, tells you 
what leadership is and you memorize that then you tweet every day how many motivation speakers have you seen in life yeah. the pastor is a motivation speaker but motivating you to go to heaven <laughs> the, the teacher the politician is a motivator yes so all of us we end up with people who are motivators but the people who are being motivated, they don't eat motivation. All they are looking for is connections and contact. Mm -hmm. So what we learn in the morning is that we are all given the, 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 uh, the gift of reason. Mm -hmm. We possess reason. Mm -hmm. There is no address where you can secure reason. So the Continental Breakfast Show, uh, we have wildfire. What is the show about? <laughs> yeah? I have to go TV. <laughs> yeah, you can talk from there. There, there is a wildfire who is in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> the fire that is wild. <laughs> oh, you can come and uh, you, you are you are soldier because I, I don't have face for TV. <laughs> uh, no, there's no one with the face for TV. <laughs> okay, I'll sit here. Yeah. yeah, I think I fit in very well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm on TV. Hi, I'm all fine. Hi. <laughs> uh, so um, the Continental Breakfast Show is um, basically. Uh, a training ground for, <laughs> for, for all the shows. This is where we tackle all the issues uh, that we don't have an understanding of and we need enlightenment on. So these are the issues that we tackle on the Continental Sunrise Breakfast Show. And um, I would say, I think we've been running for 15, 16 weeks now, max. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, we've learned so much and uh, it's all thanks to you, Mr. M. <laughs> okay. Yeah, who's, who, who has uh, helped us um, a lot in understanding some of these issues that we lack knowledge on. And uh, you've helped us understand um, some of the aspects that we at times are afraid to tackle and talk about. Um, so would you call it mentorship? If you were to look at uh, yourself mm -hmm. and Turn back the clock of history. Yes. And say, you had a show. Yeah. What was the name of the show? Um, it was called the Friday Morning Rush. No, no. Uh, it was what? Uh, uh, boiling Point. Boiling Point. Oh, yes, the Boiling Point. Yeah. <laughs> and what was Boiling? Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, at the, at, back then, the show seeked to go to stories that would have been written by other people that would have deemed uh, boiling issues of the day. Those are the issues that we seek to tackle on that show. But then uh, I was made to sing Amazing Grace because I didn't give credit to any of those writers, but I would have stolen their content and talk about it on radio. And I would have, spoke, I would, I would have taken stuff which is already out in the public domain and said, so, okay, I'm bringing this content onto radio which is still news already because somebody has covered it already. Hmm. So, so if we were to look you up to somebody mm -hmm. who the le leaders, did you f find that it was difficult to identify people? It you was. Can, you can call leaders. I so don't. if you are going to run a show <coughs> talking about leadership, mm -hmm. what would be the most likely thing? People say find experts. Mm -hmm on leadership yes so probably a person with a phd professors doctors doctors yeah those, those are, are the people who monopolize the space of leading mm -hmm. so if you are out there you want to be mentored mm -hmm. you go to these people who are busy yeah. they don't have the time but they have time to talk to you mm -hmm. about things they never did mm -hmm. which is leading and w you know, when, you, when you try and seek answers from these individuals, it's either they will redirect you to a certain link of your website, they will redirect PA. you to a, to a PA, they will redirect you to a book, read more about <coughs> this, then you have an understanding of, yes. etc., etc. So 
you, you really <coughs> never get a straight answer. You really never find that leader that you'll be seeking. You know, you know actually, this is such a nice transition to this mm. point, right? Um, yesterday, on one of the Mintis group, as well as the 173 group, Wilson mm. shared something, but I'm not going to read all the points. Um, 11 points from, this is basically the highlight of a speech mm. by Jack Ma, the richest uh, Chinese guy, yeah. the founder of Alibaba, right? Yes. So he's the world's, like, that's the world's largest e-commerce basically platform know, yeah. unfortunately there's another one there's another one yeah. i trust you that should to the japanese one <laughs> high five so imagine there's another one yeah. so now this guy right net worth pretty mm. much his annual budget according to kenya um including loans and all it's about two trillion and he can basically can run a country Which for one? about 20 years jack ma single no country. not his mm. Uh, Alibaba. Alibaba. Alibaba, Alibaba, Alibaba is not Jack, Jack Ma. Ma. Jack Ma is just a person. The like, person Alibaba like, is the company. Not like you. <coughs> <coughs> so if he's a person like you, mm. then we have to look at what is it that we are talking about. about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is a leader that mm -hmm. I can follow? Mm -hmm. Because most of the people who have responded today, mm -hmm. somebody's Ragnar Lot. Mm. Uh, Brooke, you saying what's going on here? Simply, what's going on here <laughs> is uh, is uh, a conversation yes. on mentorship. <laughs> and uh, Rag Ragna, we have a <clears throat> we have an issue mm -hmm. that there are many people who are pursuing careers, and some are looking for business opportunities. The question is, where do we go to so that we secure the best opportunities? So some had expressed an interest that they want to be mentored. Mm -hmm. They want to join this mentee circle. Mm -hmm. And what we ask them, please find 10 disciples that you know, the people around you who are going to help you in your professional growth. If today we agreed that it's Tinashe's birthday, when is your birthday, brother? It's uh, 6th of March. Look at how serious it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like so, so we March. say we have adopted 6th of March as the 1873 birth, uh, day to celebrate life using Tinashe and other people. It means next year, 2018, if we are all alive, we will meet in the name of Tinashe. In that meeting, during that, it means all of you, you then get invited to South Africa. By meeting, you are already being mentored. Because sometimes we are looking for ideas that are not there. Most of the opportunities you get in life, some of them are accidental. Mm, very true. Mm. Very true you don't plan yeah. for them. Mm, yeah. But when you get them, you take them for granted mm, and say, I'm smart. Mm. So for anyone out there, what we are talking, we set up the 1873 network to be able to speak to you and say, we have individuals like you. Mm -hmm. Some of you are born, you can't choose your parents. Mm -hmm. The parents were never in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. So you can't go to them mm -hmm. and say, please help me. I am now a chief executive of a company, but I really don't know what the job is all about. Mm -hmm. Today I was elected by people who genuinely believe in me. But actually, I don't know what it means to be a president. Where do I go to? You find most presidents are very lonely people. Because yeah. the people who, are, who surround them have never been president. to that address. Therefore, you are going randomly thinking the person is actually dressed. They say when the emperor is naked, what do you do? Do you go to the emperor and say, hey, your majesty, you are naked. What if you just woke up that day and didn't want any clothing? 
And he just wanted to be nude. And you go to him and say it's a mistake. It is. Then you get punished for reminding him. How did you know I was, I was, what were you looking for? That I was naked. You know. <laughs> because clothing, <clears throat> it does not add anything to a human being. Everything you have is external. Yes. But how many look to that? So if you are there, you are the first person to be a graduate. How do I tell other people that to be a graduate makes me different? Because you don't look different. You may wear expensive clothes. It doesn't give you two stomachs. <laughs> You're just yeah. another human being. Yeah. So we thought we could be able to, right, not to be able to create a platform where we can talk about the decisions that are not made, waiting for the right time, the right person to mentor us. So if you believe uh, you want to mentor me, you have to do the, to be mentored by me. You as a mentee, you must show cause why other people have to believe in you. Mm. So if you have 10 people, that's why you've seen the number 10. If you have 10 Jews, they'll create a synagogue. Mm -hmm. mm. So don't be surrounded <coughs> by people that will say happy birthday silently. Because the birthday itself, yes. like a funeral, mm. you can meet a big opportunity at a funeral. Mm. And how do you navigate out of that. I think the, <clears throat> the, there is an interruption, is it? Mm -hmm. sorry, sorry. Uh, huh? listen, listen. Okay. So as you are looking at uh, the construction of life, mm -hmm. how best do you build a network mm -hmm. of people, mm -hmm. of connected people, of people who know their purpose. Like this morning, what were we talking about in the morning show? We're talking about the happy birthday, you have a birthday segment. Mm -hmm. And this is what brings us here, to have an extended conversation that started in the morning. Mm -hmm. So if you are there, you are human resources consultant, what do you have to be good at? You have to be good at people. If you are a radio presenter, you have to present to people. If you are a doctor, you have to, your raw materials are the people. So you have to cure, <clears throat> attend to people. If I in, I'm in the emergency world and you are in a nightclub and you are a doctor, and I call you and say, I'm sick. What are you going to say? Say, wait until tomorrow. <laughs> huh? It means you are a soldier, you are on duty. So where do we learn about life? Where do we learn about what is possible when you are connected, when you are equipped? You can use anyone to abuse somebody you say, you inspire me, mm. or I look up to you. Mm. What do I have to do for people to look up to you? You do nothing. Mm. Just live your life. <laughs> but it doesn't stop other people following you or being inspired by you. So generation after generation, people have been inspired by others. Without the effort of the people who inspire them, constructively thinking about what I have to do to be an inspirer. So life does not give you extra time to inspire others. Life does not give you extra time to attend to other people's problems. So how best can we create a mentorship club and a mentorship circle? If you don't so, you won't rape. If you do nothing to secure your future, your future will be as good as what you see today. If you want to be somewhere, you have to have a boarding pass. 
to get you somewhere. But a boarding pass on its own is not sufficient. If you are born on the wrong side of the mountain, it's not the end of it. You can go to the other side of the mountain, but there are people there who also have invested in relationships. If you have not invested in any relationship, the outcome will always be the same. So as we are here, team, <coughs> there are people who are learning. But the most selfish thing is that people who learn, they don't want others to know what they've learned. Mm -hmm. They actually believe that somebody in the mountain <coughs> who lives in, in high places has got better wisdom than, than, they, they, than they have. Yet this today, those who have not listened to the Continental Sunrise Breakfast Show, this is just uh, the foundation of life. If you were to create life and you were given the opportunity to do so, where would you start? Because you have never lived it. You have never been in a car, in a home, and you have to think about building a house. The house will come in your mind. The plane will have to first visit your mind because you want to go somewhere in a short period of time mm. conveniently so unless you have to travel these modes of transportation mean nothing it's only for people who travel that the means to travel becomes important mm. and uh, uh, Bushe, did you finally sleep <laughs> uh, Jonathan Ralph Katurina Sir Isaac Newton said, if I am to see further than others, it's because I stand on the shoulders of giants. Mm -hmm. Aspire to inspire. Yes, Bushle has not slept. Abule Murugan, we were with him earlier, uh, talking about the same thing. Mm -hmm. So please, if you look at what Newton was saying, if we are like this, we are horizontal. There is no one who can see further because we have chosen to be horizontal. But if we go on each other's shoulders, it means the person who is at the top does not have to be smart. It just means you are, you are standing on other people's shoulders. A pyramid only has one pinnacle. But for it to have that one point, it must have a base. And you must build up. Sure. For the Pope in Rome to be the Pope of the Catholic faith, it means there must be cardinals. There must be archbishops. There must be bishops. There must be a priest. But it will be a sad day for you to go to the Vatican to confess. Because the Pope like. will, will never manage <laughs> individual sure. confess. So the Pope is not meant to be a retailer. You go to the corner store to buy small things. You go to the wholesale to buy big things. The same thing. The same tin of fish, you get it there. The same Heineken, the same uh, a brewed beer. It's not different. But the price is different because each point in the supply chain makes sense. Mentorship also has a supply value chain. If you want one on one, you are making it expensive for everybody. So the Pope was meant to be in Rome, so that is a prisoner in Rome, while the priests may be misbehaving with, with what? With nuns. You never know. <laughs> and they may also misbehave with kids <laughs> in the name of the same faith. <laughs> but the Pope will be the last to go. So the people you want to be president of the country are also prisoners. 
know. <laughs> and there are things they will never know because they don't have to know. So if you are out there and you are saying, I want to be able to find a mentor, please don't look for a saint. Don't look for a messiah. Look at yourself. You are the reason why you are where you are. Nobody will lift you up. There is no elevator that takes you somewhere. But what you do know is that when you are surrounded by people who are forward leaning, you also go forward. So if you are there, please, those who have responded, and uh, we have many of them. And uh, this is the, the, the beauty of the, of the internet. When I send the, morning, the, the, the invitation this morning, I didn't know that so many people would say, I'm interested. So I just read some of the messages. Hi, my name is Stanley, and I'm interested in the mentee program. Can I have more details? And I said, more details will come on this show. Uh, you need what? So all I said to them, mentee circle, that's Trevor Matt. I'm looking, f I'm looking at your Facebook post and website details on the mentioned, on the, on the about mentioned, above mentioned. And my, may I be considered? I am currently based in Johannesburg. Yours sincerely, Trevor, is a design art direction. Is uh, uh, then we have uh, Steve Mutambua. Anyone interested? Can you please inbox me? Says for the next step, he just repeated my message. Then Andrew. Andrew Maziwa, I'm interested in the 1873. Please advise me on what's next. What's next is for you to find the what? The 10 people. Uh, good day, I'm interested uh, in the Menti 1873 program. I'm an entrepreneur running a small transport business for the past five years. Then I said to him, you can join on Facebook Live at 6 p.m. South African time. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. You must invite 10 of your friends to be part of the conversation tonight, and we take the process further. So if you already have your 10, yeah. you are halfway there. <coughs> then, thank you, we'll invite friends and share. James Katso is interested. Uh, what am I required to do? Again, most people, are, they think uh, to pursue a, f a future, they need to be somebody to say, to give them the next step. Mm -hmm. If you are listening out there, Makondora, Gonizashe, you are interested in the mentorship program. There are so many. Wesley, uh, yes, I am interested. We have some interaction in the past with reference to Linda from Linda Lannis Tribi, I would definitely be interested in being in your mentee circle as I am greatly impacted by your wisdom and impact on the financial Zimbabwean domain. Please advise on the next step. Again, I think Wesley is listening. Gerald, uh, I'm very much interested in joining uh, uh, the mentorship program under your leadership, again, somebody says leadership and, and oversight. Again, they're looking for overseer. There is nobody who is born with eyes to oversee. <laughs> we have just been given the eyes to see. You know, you know, this reminds me of what we spoke about. Remember mm. Wildfire? Wildfire once said, you've got 5,000 friends on Facebook plus a page, yeah. but, but you can't even bring 10 people. That's witchcraft, right? Nice level. <laughs> Not even 10 people can actually join in, and it's something that's beneficial to actually everyone. I think there's somebody who says there's bad picture quality, some shaking green pixels all, all over. <laughs> so if uh, Julius Kaz, 
uh, go to what? The 1873 TV, is it? Yes. There's a better picture because here we are just using rented space on Zimbabwe uh, today live. So uh, we have discussed with the Zimbabwe today administrators who believe that uh, it's not uh, in, in the interest of democratization to democratize access. So we can't force people to see the bigger picture. But what we can do is work with what we have. So if you want good quality, please go to the eight and even the, the sound. Please go there and find the sound. But we believe that uh, uh, the people who are listening, uh, please, if the sound is there, Mm. Uh, the picture quality were all ugly anyway at midnight. <laughs> 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 don't, don't look for us. <laughs> because you are looking for mentorship, not, <laughs> not, a, not a beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we will not win the beauty contest. <laughs> so please. Uh, as long as you can get your voices. <laughs> as long as don't <laughs> Yeah. No, I, did, I did one time with the Brenda first. <laughs> yeah. uh, she comes to Zimbabwe, yeah. and then uh, she couldn't get a flight from Blue from Harare to Blue. Yeah. So I then offered to drive it. Yeah. So I drove her uh, with uh, with her team. We arrived in Blue, and the concert was starting at late. There was a bad PA system, so the people were already rioting. I said, "But did you come?" to uh, listen to music. I said, yes. I said, can you buy a CD? It's better music. <laughs> if, <laughs> but oh. if you go to a concert, you have come to see <coughs> Brenda, and she's here. Yeah. Something so, about. so what are you complaining about? This is just to meet. <laughs> so how many people go to parties and complain? There's no beer. Why didn't you bring yours? <laughs> how many people come to lunch? <laughs> and they say, why didn't you cook meat? <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian. But if I'm a vegetarian, please. And you know that. You know me. Why don't you just bring your... <laughs> your 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 own meat. Own meat. <laughs> There's no harm. But how many people go to a restaurant and pay for it? When it comes to mentorship, they would rather give a girlfriend money to Age. top up. Then when you say, what does it take to be a member of the 1873 network? 1,000 rand per year. They say it's too expensive. That's Imagine. 12 months. 12 months to say, guys, let's have a network so that we can have administration. And when we meet, even if it's infrequent, when we talk, even if it's infrequent, and if you are there, please go to the 1873 FM, 1873 Network, 1873 TV pages. Like them. Be part of it. Because it's only numbers. Don't be afraid. Those who don't like Mawere, just like 1873. <laughs> and four letters. They can give you love. They can give you hate. So they are all four letters. <coughs> so please don't be afraid to be part of something. Mm -hmm. So this mentorship program requires you to be the active agent of it. It requires us to have a secretariat, those who can administer, so that not one person, like uh, uh, I think it was, uh, it was uh, John, is it? John who said uh, that I've gone to some pastors and they've sold me a dummy. <laughs> but the conversation we had earlier, I think Fred, you were there. Yeah, they said that conversation was more enriching, mm. better than a pastor. So please be part of something that you believe in. Don't allow yourself to be driven by this idea. It's called a mirage, which is mentorship. 
that they assume that those who have done well, they have an obligation to lift others. Somebody was saying, I'm seeing about Mandela. I said, do you, does it okay to you that Mandela did not have a pathway? Nobody told him to go to prison. Nobody gave him any pathway of his life. He lived his life. But imagine, this guy says, I got a good song. And it's about Mandela. I said, Mandela is gone. He's not coming back. <laughs> what do you want to communicate without abusing Mandela? If there's something that you want to communicate that can be best communicated with Mandela's name in it, don't call the song Mandela. Yes. Call it something else. Because Mandela will not thank you. He's gone. He doesn't have a voice. How many people do you go to and say they are, they are all inspired by Mandela? Did you ever meet Mandela? No. <laughs> but I'm inspired. <laughs> but I'm inspired by Mandela's values. Mm. But the man is perishable. Mm. The same mango, if you keep it and you don't eat it, what happens? <coughs> it will still be a mango. No. no, it's still a mango, but it's, it's rotten. rotten. It's a rotten mango. It's a rotten mango. So find things that are not rotten. Build them yourself. And anything that you don't do today, don't assume that it will do itself tomorrow. It will not multiply foolishness does not have multiplication. Mm. Zero will always remain zero. <laughs> it will not have legs. It will not even invite one to be attained. It will remain waiting. But if you build your one, you can call it ten. So I think we have, uh, if you have any questions on this project, there is a radio platform that you can use. <coughs> there are also different aspects. I think, Tinashe, you, you have, what shows do you have? Uh, well, uh, between 9 uh, a.m. and uh, 12 p.m., we have uh, uh, Pushing the Envelope of Knowledge on Identity Literacy. Uh, that is 9 to 10. Uh, 10 to 11 is uh, lit the Financial Literacy. Then uh, between 11 and 12 is Leadership Literacy. And um, evenings uh, between uh, 5 p.m. and 6 p.m., we're also looking at corporate issues when we look at uh, SMM, uh, the case study involving SMM. So, mu so much uh, rich uh, content and lessons that one can actually learn as far as uh, corporate literacy is concerned. And also, not just corporate literacy, you also get to even understand aspects of power literacy, you get to understand how uh, public office bearers ought to um, exercise the power that they, that you as an individual have actually given them by electing them into office. So between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m., it will be this uh, mentees session <laughs> that will be taking place. And this is what exactly is happening at this moment. And uh, for your own information, uh, a group is now also uh, available for you to join that is on the 1873 network mm -hmm. all you have to do is just go to the website which is www.the1873network.org uh, sign up there for membership <coughs> and you can simply join uh, the 1873 mentees circle uh, it's uh, already live and kicking I'm the first volunteer and you can also call you can also invite your friends to be part of this Mentees Circle. So it's called what again? The 1873 Mentees Circle. I know the website. Have you set, set up a group? Uh, I've set it up on uh, the 1873 network. So I go there, www.the1873network.org. Uh, 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 yes. When you arrive there, when you arrive there, there's an icon that uh, shows you where the groups are. You click on that. No, first you must. Register. Yeah, first you must register. If you and not register. for that you don't pay anything. It's true. Because there are people who are allergic to paying anything. <laughs> <laughs> the situation is free. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> once you have registered as a member on the website, uh, then you can go to So once you have registered as a member on the site, you can join this particular group, the 1873 Metis Circle, and invite other individuals yeah. who also want to be mentored under the 1873 network by Mutuma Mawiri to be part no, of No, that is not, that's joined to be a community. Okay. That's to be connected. <laughs> Those who want, <laughs> because otherwise, there's nothing free that comes yes. out of doing nothing. Yes, value for There's value. no value that will arrive at your door and knock. So if you want to be somebody, please be the change. Yes. If you want to remain where you are, there's no encouragement to move you. Hmm. That's your parents. They've already done a bit. Don't be a, an overgrown baby. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. You have another show. Yes, I what? did. It's yeah. called uh, Shifting the Paradigm with myself. Uh, Creo and Relis. We are live every weekday between 12 o'clock, 1200 hours to 1500 hours Central African time. Pretty much we talk about the idea of empowerment because it's very subjective. We talk about uh, movers and shakers, those who are mavericks, as well as institution building. And part of our discussion today, we touched base on what you know the breakfast show spoke uh, about with regards to the design of life. And then we extended further to ask, if or rather how we can promote collaborative thinking. And one thing that stood out to me is the fact that we took some of the highlights from Jack Ma's speech. And I'll just share a few because it's 11 of them. And number one, he said, if you want to go big in business, you need to take big risks. But if you want to go small, then you can take small risks. And number two, you must have a teachable spirit. You need to learn, 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 and never stop learning. Number three, which I love very much, he said that you read a lot of self-help books, right? A lot of success story books and whatnot, which is fine because you want to be successful. But how many of you actually read stories of failure? Mm -hmm. Because that's where you're also going to learn a lot of things. I mean, on the breakfast show, we would tackle the stories of Lang Su and we would actually look at the story to say from rags to riches, how did this person overcome all obstacles and challenges? And that's what we're saying. Don't just look at the success stories, but look at how a person, I remember today the conversation I had with Mr. M. You said that America is a, is a country of failure. You know why? Because they failed ample times until they made it. So you don't just focus on the success bracket, but look at the whole process. Hence, we say respect the process and ignore the noise. Ignore everything that happens around you and just pull your own wagon. Anyways, I'm done preaching because I can go on and on. But catch me every so week. So far, we have 1.2, 1,200 <laughs> people who are, who are watching. 1.2. So we have not, uh, I think we left an extended time for, for True Verb to be yes. able to, act, to also add their voice. Because when you look at uh, uh, musicians, mm -hmm. uh, they're human beings, yes. aren't they? Yes, true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. What did you learn? <laughs> what did you learn today, Mr. Sam Shavalala came with Mushengu production? What did you learn? Oh, in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. No. Um. Uh. Well, one thing that I pictured from from the conversation. Uh, so Jonathan said, "Preach, sister." Ah. Hey. So you have a pastor here. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, congregation. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, one, one, one thing that I learned today from the conversation that we had in the afternoon uh, was that uh, there's, there's, there's a lake uh, in, the, in the music industry mm -hmm. of, of substance in, in what we are singing. Mm. And uh, that is one thing that is also affecting our community since music can also be used as a road in transmitting positive um, uh, messages that could also help individuals become better people so um, it's 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 one thing that uh, I, 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 I learned today and I'm still also in the road or also in, in the path to so this is a, mus a musician coming to a non-musician Yes. To say, I'm dreaming about doing something, but I don't have the fuel to do what I'm dreaming about. 
and he was looking for a thousand rand hmm. just to get ribbons so that he can sell them at a fraction. That's all he's looking for. Hmm. But he left home with no money to go home. Yes. But he hmm. believes that if I arrive at Maweri's place, there is a bank there. Hmm. He's a musician. He has no way to go. Hmm. He has no one to look up to. <coughs> Does he have the gift? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Does he have an address to go to? The answer is no. So how do you build capacity? How do you build institutions? When we are thinking of events, instead of thinking of the foundation, which is what we are saying, the Continental Sunrise Show, builds a foundation that all the people who left Europe to come to Africa, they arrived with no promise. They arrived with no address. Mm -hmm. But they built the civilization that we have become part of, one man at a time. Mm -hmm. There was no infrastructure, no road that came from heaven as a gift. But everything to build roads was already provided for. Mm -hmm. All the things you see in the developed parts of Africa actually were already provided for. The only difference is that other people came from Europe to just unlock the potential that already was part of the, of the blueprint. So there is nothing that men can produce out of thinking and acting without the materials to convert into the things that we use in life. The guitar itself does not come from imagination. The piano does not come from imagination. The computer does not come just from dreaming. But these are musicians. Who mentors them? Nobody. We have great ideas. But the doors, the people who are educated, they end up talking to themselves. And you don't have access to their offices. So if you don't have access to their offices, what then happens? It, what happens is that the, the apartheid that we're talking about is replaced by the, a new form of apartheid where those who have remain on their side, those who have not remain on their side. So how do we build bridges so that the two can meet? Mm -hmm. Did you learn that? Because people were saying Desire was the desirous of his keyboard. He desirous. <laughs> and he, he was not attentive as to what was being discussed. And when he joined uh, they were talking that is it knowledge is what it's not witchcraft is it <laughs> it's not superstitious <laughs> that the only way to cure poverty mm. is knowledge yeah. okay and uh, yeah go ahead we have a question from john but let's go to desire what did you learn all right uh, from from the conversation that we had today <coughs> As musicians, first of all, I'd like to just add on to what Oscar said. Most of us don't have content, don't have valuable things to talk about. That we idolize people that are not there instead of take, taking the message that they stood for, not the particular name. For example, Mandela was a person who was not there. Instead of trying to learn from what he stood for, they just used the name but not have content but, in their sound. Well, maybe you can assist us with that blue one to charge them. So, so, so what, one of the most important things that I've learned is that before you even put someone's name in a, someone's name in a song, 
you need to understand what that person really stood for. Sure. Then so that when you start to talk to people, they understand what you're really saying and you know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. So if we're going to advance our interest, we need to build communities where we share like what Oscar desired to say, to say, how do we build this community where we can use music to communicate some of the things that we are required where the musicians can be mentors? Yes. Mm -hmm. Drivers of change. The drivers of change and use music to inspire, use positive language mm -hmm. to build bridges, not to build walls. Mm -hmm. And the uh, same, but you also share the same. Uh, no, I, I was just late with a conversation. So far, I didn't get uh, any. Mm -hmm. I was late at the end of the conversation, so I didn't get anything. You were late? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, by the time that you were there. I read him talking about money, you want to do something. Yeah. That's all I read. And what, what, uh, what do you take, what you can say, I will share, that I attended the meeting. Well, sometimes we attend meetings. Actually, we come out with nothing. Mm. Yeah, true. Mm. There's no, there's no yeah. lesson that we draw mm. from there. Even if you are in a meeting you know, for one minute, <laughs> you must draw something. You must, yeah, you must draw something. <laughs> yeah. I like what you said yesterday. You said that money follows principle. Yeah. And that's very true. You need to be disciplined. Listen, I'm one person who shares everything. I don't just share the glorious successes about my life. But I was one person who was all over the place. You can't be a prostitute when it comes to services. Be streamline your energy, you know, function and make sure, Guti, even if stick in your lane and expand on that lane and know how to expand. And like we were talking earlier that we are tired of musicians dying poor, it needs to stop. But now, if you want us to stop as a musician, that's why Taraji P. Henson said, it's show business, it's show bees. In as much as you take off the show and you flourish, hashtag situation right now, oh my God, red carpet with who and who. Yes, you can dress well, make up on flick, it's okay. But now, who is taking care of the business? And that's the administration side of things. That's the organization side of things. What are you doing to take care of that? Do you have a relationship with numbers? Do you understand numbers? Do you go to Mr. M's office to say, sure, I got a deal, but I don't understand anything. Please teach me. So as a mentee, do you have a teachable spirit so that you can actually learn? We're not saying, hey, be our disciple. We don't want to contentize you. What we're saying is, let's build a network, invite your friends so that we can move forward. Because this thing about administration is killing a lot of people. Mm -hmm. person has a, a, a company, but you cannot even do e-filing. What you have is a CK document, not a company, because a company has assets and you need to understand what is going on. So yeah, come through. We can, we can talk and until our ears burst, but at the end of the day, it is up to you as a person, as an individual. Hans Trubeb says one individual at a time. We're building brick by brick. Mm -hmm. It takes your decision, you, made, you need to make the conscious decision because we said that, you know, the creator gave you the power of reason and free will. You need to decide for yourself to say, I want to be part of this. We, wanna, we don't want to force you. So that says, OTA pyramid scheme is not a pyramid scheme. This is a mentee cycle, 1873 mentee cycle. I think I'm done now, right? <laughs> 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 okay, now Simba, you want uh, to say something? Uh, from what I heard, that time from the <coughs> if you're a musician, you call yourself a musician, right? Mm. You gotta know what you wanna preach to the world. Mm. It's mm. not about money. It's about the value you're giving to the people. Mm. And then money will, money will follow you. You don't have to step on top of mm. other people's shoulders for you to go wh where you wanna go. It's about you to think who you are. Who, who are you exactly, who you are in your life. Mm. You gotta sit down and think about your life. What, what exactly do I wanna do in my life? Who is me? Then from that, you get to know where you want to go. Okay, and uh, John had asked a question earlier. Uh -huh. Would love to be part of the WhatsApp group that is having such business talks, wow. quite insightful. True knowledge is key. The greatest threat to our generation is not witchcraft, it's ignorance. Mm. Yeah. Then Tomula of the Chimba said, How do I get to share this plat platform? With the honorable, I need to share my views on how Zim folks can upgrade themselves financially through forex trading. I agree with you with a knowledge bank, 
But why not write books and include this in the education sector? How amazing is it that people flock to listen to spiritual fraudsters and fail to <laughs> congregate where ideas are shared, like in such, uh, uh, in such uh, platforms? Uh, Dr. Mawere no, doctor, <laughs> never, okay. never ceases to amaze me with his wealth of wisdom. Do you have an app for this knowledge bank? Social security and well-being well depends on it. Wow, love the Facebook analogy. I would say Facebook is the largest country today, yeah. but it doesn't have a president. Imagine. And, and other people are saying, hashtag someone must fall so that we can what? We can be in a better country. So this is where we are now. So the, the people you have listened and the problem is the language that we use even in the shows. Some people are saying it's too complex. But poverty is the most abused word. You know, it's the most complex. Nobody says, I don't know, you got access to a computer. Come again? Well, you know, just access to... What, what, how is poverty defined? Okay, or on... Um Let's just quickly check on uh, Google mm. uh, how <laughs> poverty is defined. Yeah. yeah. Then you discover how difficult we're dealing with. <laughs> Which is what? Uh, it's, it's opening up. Yeah. Uh, we're running multiple so, at the same time. Well, you know, imagine you're poor. Somebody gets a PhD just to describe you. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's funny, but it's actually very deep. Ne? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And somebody becomes a president just saying, I want to help you get out of poverty. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. If there was an elevator, I think the president would use it himself. But once you go, you go there. So how many people vote? Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is according to Google. Yeah. Poverty, the state of being extremely poor. Oh, you are repeating the state of being extremely. No, no. It's coming back to poor. Is the state of ex... of what? Being extremely poor. Okay. What is extreme now? There is what? A test tube. To measure. To measure. Then when you reach this extreme, and which address do I go? Where this extreme becomes. Applicable. Sure. Okay. Uh, another definition: the state of being inferior in quality or insufficient in amount. Yeah. So again, inferior. Where does superior end and inferior begin? And another one: poverty denotes serious lack of means for serious. proper existence. Serious. Again. I have to say, not serious. Then it becomes serious. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes very serious. Then it becomes extremely it serious. serious. <laughs> and who is measuring? In the mountain top. Sure. Yeah? Professor. The professor at the university where the light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Where no After that, he goes and sleeps at home. Yeah. And leaves me there, thinks I'm still poor. He doesn't know that the next day I may discover what? Diamonds. The diamonds. Mm -hmm. And he has left me saying that I left in a poor in a state. Mm. Then the next one? Uh, a state or condition in which a person or community lacks the financial resources and essentials yeah. to enjoy minimum standard of life. And now there's a minimum. minimum. <laughs> Who defines the minimum? Yeah. So all these minimum. important words. Then you hear poverty alleviation. How can I alleviate something I can't measure? Sure. <laughs> huh? How can I reduce something that is not moving? Mm. Huh? I can only reduce by putting a brake. Mm. But imagine, who puts the brake? Is it the poor person? Or somebody in my house? I put a break and say you must be poor. I like what you said with regards to that, that the difference between a rich man and a poor man is a way of thinking. And another meme that was shared is that 
don't try to fix the problem. Fix but your is kids. there a poor man in the state mm. of nature? No, no. no. Mm. There's no poor man. So how do I know that these people are poor? They look, they look all okay. Do you measure? Yeah. Mm. Then I say desire Extreme. looks poor because he went, he went. But when I look at people, <laughs> what do I see? It's a human being. Yeah? So how do I know who is poor? Unless somebody says, today I don't want to. There are people who can't help what they are wearing, mm. who can't change into new clothes, because they don't have. But does that mean, mean that the power to reason and the free will is a subtracted because they look so? So for you to be a president, don't you need the poor people? You do. You do. So who creates a president? Sure. The poor or the rich? The poor. The poor. They're the majority. Mm. In a pyramid, those are the people who are in the yes. valley, who have more time to go and vote you out. <coughs> True. But sometimes they don't know who to vote for. Yeah. Sure. You've got the power, but you don't know. You don't know. So but the show that we're talking about is to educate the people with the power to change things. Sometimes we believe that is the rich, but have you ever seen a rich trying to cheat the voting system to vote twice? No. Huh? No. no. They can try, but there will be a piece of ink, even on the rich. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't get erased because you are rich. And if you have a fingerprint, the fingerprint of the, of the rich and the poor is still a finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still a finger. We all have fingers. Mm -hmm. But have you ever seen a poor man who is removed from having a finger? Because you are poor, then I lose some faculties. No. So that's what the show is that they were doing in the morning. To try to understand the design of life. Once you understand it, then you understand mentorship. It's just part of the human experience of associating. So those who are in Australia and Zimbabwe who want to join us so that you can have an excuse to be in South Africa and call it mentorship, please join us. And then True Vep can play music. Yes, and, that made us. And False Vep can play what? False music. <laughs> How best can we... Jonathan, let's just deal with this. And then, <laughs> how, how best can we have a career path that both, both guarantees as financial security and also allowing us to follow our dreams. How best can we do that? <coughs> Look at the person in the mirror. Ask the same question. If you can do it alone, you will go as far as you can. But if you can do it with the other people, you will have the biggest laugh all the way to the bank. Mm -hmm. You know, Mandela wrote Long Walk to Freedom. Mm -hmm. Another guy says to me, I would rather have a short walk to the bank. <laughs> that long walk to freedom? Because freedom, I don't know what to do with it. When I arrive. <laughs> but if I go to an ATM and I put my numbers and it says the bank in Valley, insufficient funds, I know I'm in a problem. Because there are consequences. If I can get that, I believe I'm destined to make an impact in my generation and those to come. Even Jesus never left the IP address. Jesus never said. He just lived life as just a simple commandment, is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. He went to a mountain. What did he talk about? The Beatitudes. Yeah. Huh? So Jesus was a, was a schemer, was a thinker. And he knew if he had left an address, if he had started up a bank, it would be broke by now. <laughs> We will only be taken. You know how many people have taken from Jesus? A lot. Mm. And then he said, Pastor, you've made money. Where is Jesus' fault? <laughs> <laughs> to put a portion of what you have made in his name. Mm. He's the most abused person. Mm. For 20, 17 years, people have, have made money out of it. He's the biggest balance sheet in the brand. world. And Prophet Muhammad is even bigger, but there's no picture of him. <laughs> but there's a lot of money in the name of faith. So if you have faith that your life will be better, 
through knowing others. Please join others. Join us. I can't give you a prescription that if you meet with me, the bank will give you a better ATM. There's, um, there's an idea. Mm. There's an example that you, you, you gave us last time mm -hmm. when you were talking about the importance of um, uh, one individual coming to meet up with ad other individuals yes. at one point to to produce something or to attain something. Yeah. Remember that one that you gave of um, uh, someone who would want to go and buy a BMW from um, uh, the retail from, yeah. from it's different from buying it in as a group like what we're doing to say collectively we're now going to the manufacturers okay. directly. Uh, so, but that your spend yes. is your power. Yes. Whatever is in your bank is yours. But when you spend it, please don't blame the one you spend it on in the name of communism or socialism. Mm -hmm. And then you call me a capitalist. When do I become a capitalist? Before you get the tomato or you get the carrots? All I use is kgs. If I say it's two kg, please pay the two kg price so that the farmer can produce more, more products. So the other thing is that volume gives you value. So if we want a mentorship program that works, the more we join, yeah, imagine somebody like Klingi wanted to run away at five or six o'clock to go to a meeting. And what she was she was going to do? To think about the own what? Future while she's meeting. So imagine you are called by the Warren Buffett and he says, uh, uh, Oscar, I'm calling you to Nebraska, yeah, to Omaha. So you have lunch with me. That's true, very okay. Yeah. And then your girlfriend says, no, that is the day I want you to be with me. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? What would you do? Uh, Warren Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> no, Oscar is in love. <laughs> <laughs> Head over heels. Uh, I think that that, ex that 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 one should have gone to someone else because my first love is my music. <laughs> then my girlfriend next. <laughs> oh, so that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So work first. Money first. I love you. And desire. You, what do you say? Uh, you know, you know my position with them. You know, even from that day, my you lost somebody. That phone call. You lost. I decided to do what I want. So you know, so, I'm, I'm, we must know. Shame. We must no, know. Pulling my one. So, so this, like that. I was in trouble trying to focus. <laughs> and somebody say, but how come you now? <laughs> have no new friends? <laughs> Please, if you are there, please talk to Desire. He <laughs> <laughs> will be a counselor. Now you feel good. So I think we'll have a Desire hour. <laughs> just, just to tell. Oh, I went Cupid on us. <laughs> <laughs> the desire of love. <laughs> <laughs> that oh that love is cheap. <laughs> you need the best to enjoy it. <laughs> you need the best to enjoy it. Yeah. Is that what is that? No romance without. Yeah? No romance without finance. How are you going to. You will be liquid. Imagine no. going go to a restaurant. <laughs> And then he, yeah. he, when the bill comes, he says, excuse me, I'm, I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then yeah, yeah, you leave, yeah. you leave your loved one. He tries to do that. He goes here to wash dishes. <laughs> so, so, so my second question. As millennials, we are known to be yeah. startup kids. We all desire to take the entrepreneurial route, which is fine. However, can we all take that route? 
I'm not just taking a human route. An entrepreneur is just an undertaker of a promise. Mm. If you promise a song, please produce a song. Mm. Don't produce noise <laughs> in the name of a song. Yes. Because even dogs make that's, noise, that's, and they don't get paid for it. Yes. They just get so, paid I think we're talking about poverty. I think the mentees want to know whether music can help them. So maybe you can do one or two or three or whatever, then we close. Wow. <coughs> Great presentation, guys. Thank you. That's James Cattle. <coughs> Thank you, James. The other musicians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the actor. <laughs> so Tinashe is acting today. Tinashe is a conqueror. He's a shattered accountant. <laughs> Who wants to be a shattered musician? It's all right. It's all You know, you know, and I know that poverty is neither a condition, status, or disease. What it is meant to be, it's not what really it is. There's something that we, we, we deem as uh, a standard mm -hmm. way of living, something that is proper. So uh, if we come together, it's, it's something that is of interest to, to everyone, something that everyone would aspire. So that thing that we say uh, it's, it's proper, we, I would call it an order mm -hmm. that will govern or maybe um, I'm, I'm, I'm failing to look for the perfect way okay. to it's, it's, like it's just a perfect <laughs> structure. That is structure. Is structure. Yes. It's a reminder by what Richard it's is just the organized, one shared. Organized, yeah. 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 Organized in the position of people. 
Yeah. Mm, the arrangement of the position of people. Oh, that's the, the quality of nature. Yeah. The quality of nature. Now, this is now, if you look at the uh, constitution, mm -hmm. it gives limits. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Marriage gives limits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't say I've eaten somewhere and the wife has cooked food for me. <laughs> you just have to eat, <laughs> even if you have eaten somewhere. <laughs> so the order at home is the house shall eat. <laughs> so the food that I cook, <laughs> you shall eat. Yeah. Shall so eat. some people get into marriage without knowing what limitations it imposes. So when somebody says, I'm a judge, and I give you an order, which is a judgment, mm. I judge, I say, my friend, you must go to what? To prison. Mm. You are convicted of murder. Mm. I give you an order. So I'm ordering people to what? Mm. To take your freedom away. Sure. Wow. And it still be OK. It still be a free country. Sure. But yo, even Mandela was given it. So what they were fighting against or were fighting for was to create a new order mm. in which the color, the skin color would not count. Mm. So that is the order they wanted to secure. And they were prepared to die for it. <coughs> An order where there's no black domination, there there's no, no white, white domination. domination. That we are all created equal, equal and we all have the same chances of life. Mm, if opportunities are there, we must not create roadblocks mm. so that you may not be able to overcome them. So the order that we require. <coughs> so you can use the same song for mentees. Mm. What would the world be like? If they were mentees and no mentors. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. That's great. Would the mentees be better for it? it. <laughs> so all the people who are there, please don't assume that those who have done well owe you anything. Because when they were going up the mountain, they didn't have anybody to pull them. So don't misunderstand life. You have to negotiate it. You have to make yourself worthy of that value to be pulled up. Because anyone who says, I want an order, where the rich are ordered to lift me up, where I'm, the rich are ordered to give up 10%, whether you call it a charter, you call it a, a black economy, what? Something. Assume that it's now black. Those who are not black, where do they go? So that is the challenge of building a new, a future that we want. So you are saying the future that I want is a future that allows me to be who I am. Is that correct? So that is the essence of the song that I searched all over, couldn't find an address where somebody was waiting to be my mentor. Is that good? Mm -hmm. hmm? Then I knocked, the door opened. And I've not done anything to create that bridge. So do something, organize yourself, and be many. The more you are, the more claim you have. Mm -hmm. Imagine millions of people vote Trump to be president. Then after that, say, we don't know him. How did he get that? It means you played a part. Mm. So if you play a part to create a president, it means you got the power. So use your power to make the choices that advances your interest. But please don't abuse those you elect, especially those you don't elect. Would you want to elect a mentor? Mm. Mm. But how many people say I want to be mentored? <laughs> but you, when we elect them, do we pay a salary to one who is elected? Oh, if you've ever seen a president who doesn't want to eat, 
They are salaried people. And when want to leave yeah. So if you want someone to mentor you, you must pay. If you want John Maxwell to come, he says, well, please make sure that my, my uh, Kiyosaki, the money must be in the bank before I leave. And you still get one hour. And you have been given one hour and more than one no, hour. Actually, how many? For free. <laughs> make sure that this is the free radio you get. <laughs> or she the free airtime you get. So please, the value gives you what? Value gives you value. Value. Money is what you pay. So we, we have the last song. Oh, 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 oh. 
I don't care if you're going to say the last part. Yes! <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. 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 No, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, where is it? Where is it? But I know, it's the Yeah, I know. I think he was going to do the last part. Trevor is on his way. We are waiting for Trevor. Who's that twist? So, uh, Jonathan <laughs> says, <laughs> Jonathan Rauf, Katurila, thank you for the hour. Oh. Destinies have been impacted. So, on that thank note, you, you want to say your last words? Uh, last words? Uh, thank, thank, you, thank you so much, guys, for, for watching. Um, this is, this is uh, one thing that motivates us to keep on uh, coming back to you. And we do not know everything, but uh, with the little that we, we know, we want to share with you. So if you have people that you also want to extend this uh, knowledge to, please uh, invite them and we all learn together. And the contributions and the questions that you guys have been putting across, uh, they are also working as guidelines to deal with matters that are affecting everyone. So thank you for, for watching. Keep watching. Yeah, thank and you. don't forget to thank catch you, us in the morning, 6 to 9. 6 to 9, yeah. Continental Sunrise Breakfast Show. Yeah. Thank you, thank so you. So how did they get access to it? www.the1873fm.com As from the 1st of August, we're going to be on the DSCV Audio Bouquet. You can also download our app on Play Store, App Store. We are on TuneIn as well as Blackberry World. We're always live on the on our YouTube channel as well. Zimbabwe Today, we are there. All our social media platforms, Lingua Amanda H on Facebook. Always share. We're always live. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate your support. We love you. We value you. We appreciate you. And but, up, yeah. the up what do they, where do they get it? The app Play Store, App Store, Blackberry World. We are also on TuneIn. So Google Play, the likes, you're going to find us what do they look for? You look for 1873. The 1873. They 1873. That's where you, yeah. we are. The, the 1873 yeah. FM. Your voice, your power. And then that's... Uh, <coughs> uh, tomorrow. Oh, we have... Yeah. If there are questions... Tomorrow, so if there are any questions... Yeah. Please, let's try to resolve them so that yeah. we start a mentorship program that is structures, mm. that is timelines, that can benefit you in order to access the inventory of what is already in Africa. Sometimes we believe that people from outside Africa can do more. Sometimes we believe people who are in Asia can do less. Sometimes we believe people in the Americas are destined to be superior that and we forget that throughout the world 7.3 billion people each one of us counts if we took one out that could be one solution that mm. we don't have we use products that are made by other people yet when we use them we actually benefit from the functionality of those products. Imagine somebody says, let's create a black bank. What would that mean? All I need is a bank. It's a store of value. What is inside the bank? The moment it becomes black and white value, we, we, the, the, the end of civilization is near. The music that you play, the moment it becomes classified as black, music, then it means you've lost something. So let's not be discounted. I think in the UK, the BBC, women are complaining that they get a fraction of what men get, and they do the same work. In America, another survey said the 79% problem that women are discounted where you get, a person gets one dollar, they get 79 cents. So in Africa, we are also trying to discount whites. So if they have 100% of the harvest, some people are saying they should get 70%. 30% goes to somebody who just happened to be somebody. And he just milks because the cow is there. If there's no car, there's no discount. 
But let's look at salary uh, packages at work. They need not be the same. Because we are not the same in the experience of life. We are the same in nature. When we are in the animal kingdom, we are all the same. But in life, we are measured by the things that we do. So if you are out there, you are alone, lonely, trying to find somebody, please share this video. It will be available. Is it? Yes. Yeah, it's streaming. It's already available. <coughs> it's already available. You copy the URL link and share it with other individuals. So that's all you have to do. And in the morning, I think the coordinator sunrise show, yeah. we have been a, a, what, a, a riding on, on a Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe today. today. Yes. So that a, a Zimbabwe today becomes also a carrier no in the hope that there is no Zimbabwe today. There is human today. All the people who call the Zimbabweans, they are all scattered all over. When they are in Australia, what do they become? Australians. Australian. When they are in New Zealand, they become New Zealanders. So, <clears throat> so let's build on that on that note. Uh, goodbye, and until we engage tomorrow, the same time, same place, and uh, maybe more people. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Signing out. You're signing out. Your network is your net worth. So you want to sing? <laughs> no. <Yeah. clears throat>